Welcome CCF fam. Here with me today is Brother Paul Tanchi with another episode of CCF Sunday Fast Track. Brother Paul, that was a great message. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Um, I have a few questions for you. Sure. Uh, my first question is, it seems like Paul, Apostle Paul, was very faithful till the end of his life. He was, and yes. most of us, we would want to live that kind of life. But most of us also, we fail. Mm -hmm. And I want um, to ask, what, what would you say to a person who, who has backslid in their faith? Well, I, I would encourage them that, you know, when Jesus died on the cross for our sins, He, he died for all of them. Mm -hmm. And when, when you and I um, fall or backslide, the enemy would love you to stay there. But, you know, it's like C.S. Lewis said, you know, you can't, you can't change what you've done in the past, but you can start today. You can start today to allow that same grace to penetrate your heart and allow Jesus to transform you because it's, it's Jesus that transforms us. It's Jesus that will enable us to, to finish well. So get back on track, bro. Get, back get up, track. yeah. Get back on track. All right, so the second question, brother. Um, we are pretty and normally selfish, <laughs> selfish people. Yeah. Um, how do we intentionally journey with people who are suffering around us? For me, my selfishness is um, something I'm still wrestling with uh, uh, now. I wrestle with it every day. And it's apart from the Spirit of God working in my heart, I won't care about what, what other people are going through. So I have to remind myself every day and I come before God and I say, God, um, live your life through me. And with that lens, if you're looking at how to be a blessing, you actually find little things you can do. So praying, praying with somebody or just visiting them, just listening to them, encouraging them. And a lot of times, a lot of times you have to go out of your way. And that's what makes it difficult because we live in a world where we are so focused on ourselves. And I think social media has even highlighted that even more, you know, it's like everything's about what you're doing and we're not even mindful of what the other person needs. So just being mindful of, of what they need and asking God, how can I be a blessing to them? You ask that question and God will speak to you and, and you will find things that you can do. For the last question, um, for those who are suffering or going through major trials, how can they keep focus on God? How can they not lose hope? I always go back to the cross, right? Because um, in the cross of Christ, you see that the greatest being in this world willingly went through suffering mm. just so that you and I could have a relationship with Him. So as, as difficult and as painful as the suffering is, the, the reminder of the truth that Jesus actually is suffering with me. Mm. Right? He's, I'm not alone here. I think for Faye, that's what gave her joy. She, she accepted where she was at, but she also had the assurance that God would be with her. And so when you have God with you, it enables you to, to go through it. Thank you, Brother Paul. Right. There you have it, brothers and sisters. Let us be faithful till the end.